Hi, hello. Uh, it has been a, a, a weeks without update. So I want to continue to talk about my uh, project. And uh, so, um, so the project has been going well. And uh, now we needed to do some uh, documentation and how to test the project. So um, this is the project, uh, the CNN project I'm contributing to and uh, to add an integration for external uh, VXLAN tunnel endpoint devices. So there are a lot of uh, things going on here for this project. And now we have, we needed to have documentation how to use this feature and uh, how to test this feature. And uh, because it involves a uh, third party uh, VXLAN devices. So how we can test this feature without actually uh, use uh, third party devices like BIP, uh, or any other uh, VXLAN tunnel devices that you don't have. So how we can test this feature. Um, I have um, come up a few options here. Uh, I, I put up, I put in a, a, a bash a Python script. This is just a, a few diagram. So the first option is uh, we can uh, start up a two uh, uh, virtual machine. One virtual machine runs a ceiling node, a Kubernetes cluster ceiling node. And then one virtual machine, uh, just a, a generic a Linux virtual machine. So on this virtual machine, we can just use bash script, like a bash IP command script to set up a VXLAN tunnel, a Linux VXLAN tunnel device. Then uh, in the CD node, we can start up a beaded box pod and then pin the beaded, from the beaded box pod, we can pin the uh, IP address on the Linux uh, virtual machine VXLAN tunnel uh, device. So that is one option. Uh, it, it requires two uh, virtual machine uh, to test. And uh, the second option is uh, we can uh, start up two CNI node uh, in Kubernetes, and uh, uh, we can uh, use uh, SCAPI um, uh, script, Python script. So you know uh, uh, SCAPI. Uh, this is a SCAPI uh, project. So it is to uh, manipulate a packet, um, monitor and uh, manipulate a packet. Uh, uh, in, in raw packet format. So that is the, another option. We can, uh, uh, I wrote a SCAPI script uh, to monitor on the, on the, the second node uh, uh, interface and uh, specifically to monitor the uh, VXLAN packet. And uh, when we receive the VXLAN, VXLAN packet, we can send a reply and the beta box will get ICMP echo reply. So that's uh, another option, uh, but it also requires uh, to uh, a virtual machine uh, with a CD node, a Kubernetes node running. So the third option is the, is, is a, is the option that we uh, uh, agreed uh, uh, to have. And because this option, you just need a one uh, virtual machine and you can run, a, uh, uh, we use CAN here. So you can run Kubernetes load in Docker, uh, in Docker, uh, which means, uh, so basically like for each Kubernetes node, you have a Kubernetes uh, process running. So in this case, we run the Kubernetes uh, in a Docker container. So, uh, say we, we can have two uh, uh, Docker uh, container running with the Kubernetes running inside of the Docker uh, container. And uh, so you have two, you can have two uh, Kubernetes node in a Docker environment. 
Yes, but how the how the two uh, uh, Kubernetes node uh, network each other. Uh, so on the virtual machine host side, we have the uh, bridge interface. So this this the can will set everything up for you, and uh, you don't. So it will set up the bridge to collect the two container uh, Kubernetes node, and uh, so this is this is a host their host side. Uh, virtual network interface. This is uh, their container side uh, virtual networks uh, interface for the Kubernetes node. So in this case, uh, in this case, since we can monitor the script uh, on the bridge interface, because everything, uh, everything, every network packet will go through the uh, network interface here, or the bridge interface here. Uh, so we can monitor on the bridge interface. So in this case, we don't even need the, the second Kubernetes node in, contain, in Docker container. We just uh, need a one, um, need a one Docker uh, Kubernetes node, and uh, from the builder box, we can pin the, uh, the external VXDAN tunnel IP address. Uh, then on the bridge interface, we can monitor the pin request and send the reply back to the bigger box. And so this is uh, the uh, packed flow here uh, from the bigger box uh, virtual uh, the con container side network interface to the uh, uh, the Docker container side the host network interface through the ceiling external tunnel. Uh, uh, device through the virtual uh, virtual uh, network interface for the uh, Kubernetes node, and uh, all the way here down to the bridge interface. So this is more a uh, lightweight, uh, easy to uh, test, and uh, and it can be easily automated. Uh, again, uh, so this is a, a another diagram to show the same packed flow here. And uh, yeah, so in love talk here, let's do a demo. And uh, so where's my, um, okay. Um, Let's find my, okay, here, yeah. So here is my uh, uh, SSH session to the uh, virtual machine. Um, so I have a, a can script, a batch, a script, script with can, and uh, it's just a rock with a, uh, the the start startup uh, uh, startup uh, uh, candy cluster. So by the way, I have everything here. If you want to repeat my um, test example here under my uh, GitHub repo, I have a bash script uh, repo. Uh, under bash script repo, I have a scape vex line directory. And uh, so scape vex line directory. And I have every, every file here if you want to repeat what I did. So again, we have a, a canned bash script to start up everything. So in this canned uh, bash script, the first we start up the can cluster. Uh, by the way, this is this is where I referenced from. So the ceiling project, uh, you can uh, start uh, test the ceiling using uh, can. So this is a document documentation link I referenced, and uh, so my bash script is based on this uh, documentation. And uh, just uh, follow the documentation, create the uh, cluster using can and with a, a YAML file. So uh, yeah, I followed everything here. And it, so, and then put in a, a bash script. 
Um, we can look at it again. Uh, uh, so it's very um, uh, simple um, can cluster. See here, I only I only start up one uh, control load, uh, not even a worker load. So networking, we uh, disable CNN first, uh, first because we want to deploy CNN uh, later, right? So that's the uh, created the cluster. And then second step is install CNN. So install CNN will follow the, the, the documentation, use the helm. Uh, instead of using him uh, install the scene, uh, I use a template to create a, a scene uh, manifest YAML file and uh, with the uh, uh, most recent version. So after that, we can manually edit this uh, scene uh, manifest YAML file and uh, to have the, uh, have the feature uh, enabled. So uh, uh, here is the uh, uh, edit uh, uh, CNN YAML file with the feature uh, enabled. So this is an external VXDAN uh, uh, config map uh, uh, options to enable the feature with the, so notice here, the endpoint IP address, I use the uh, bridge interface IP address uh, as a, 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 a VX endpoint, um, because I can monitor this uh, endpoint IP address and uh, send the reply. So the VX insider is uh, 10150 slash 24, uh, the MAC address. The MAC address doesn't matter here for the uh, test because uh, the script uh, doesn't care about the MAC address. It will just care about the IP, uh, internal IP address and uh, out. Uh, external IP address. So to, to test this feature. And uh, so uh, if this feature is uh, eventually uh, upstream in the uh, official release, uh, you don't need to manually edit this. Uh, you can use just use HEM uh, directly with this uh, HEM option, uh, external website label true. And uh, and uh, external VX endpoint the IP the endpoint IP address uh, the CIDR subnet range the MAC address so you don't need to uh, manually edit here because now it's not official in officially uh, in the official release so this is uh, like uh, uh, we use Docker to pull the image I built. Uh, uh, from a, a Docker Hub repo, uh, pull the, the, the image with this feature uh, enabled and uh, a load in the canned uh, environment, load the image. So then we can now deploy the uh, CD uh, manifest. And here I deploy a, a bit a box a pod here in the control plane. Before that, I needed to uh, make the control plane uh, 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 able to deploy the part in the control plane uh, node. So that's that's simple and uh, bash script. So we can now we can start uh, the. Uh, let me see. Maybe I I have created a cluster before. Let me okay delete. Now we can create. create the uh, canned cluster. So it, it will take a, a little bit while. Um, yeah, so this, okay. So this is another uh, SSH session. We can look at the actual uh, escapee Python script. So the, the actual Python script, uh, actually, by the way, um, uh, this is uh, the second time I think I used Scapy. I used Scapy like uh, five or six years ago, so I'm not really that familiar with Scapy, uh, but it's very cool uh, tool. Uh, what I do, what I did here is uh, based on the VXLine uh, uh, 
uh, layer by layer uh, information, I've extracted out those uh, 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 packed layer information. So with this, uh, you know, payload, uh, number of payload here. So how, how do I get those payload? Uh, which, how, how many payload match to which layer? So to do that, we, we can look at it. Uh, uh, pack the capture in a wire shot. And uh, so it, to better understand it. So for example, uh, you've got a max packet here. That's we have a, a virtual extension, extensible local area network ahead of here. So it's a big packet. So look at it, this packet, we can look at it as a, each layer. So this is the isolated layer, uh, layer two. This is for the outer packet. Uh, this is the outer IP layer. This is the outer, the UDP encapsulation layer, the, the UDP layer. So this is a, a, a VX time layer. And uh, this is the internal uh, layer two, the internal layer three IP layer, and the in internal layer ICMP, uh, we can see as uh, the layer four and the, yeah. So uh, when you actually write the escape script, uh, so this is the packet itself. And then that's the first payload. Uh, which is the IP layer, the outer uh, layer, IP layer. And the, the, the second payload is a UDP layer. So now you understand the first payload is IP layer, second payload is the UDP layer, third payload is VXLAN header layer, and uh, 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 fourth, yeah, fourth layer, a uh, fourth payload, is the internal Ethernet layer to uh, a fifth layer. A fifth payload is uh, a, a internal IP layer. Uh, sixth payload is an internal SMP layer. So with this, now you have a better information. You can write it as quick. You understand uh, uh, why I have so many uh, payload here. So this is like a... Uh, uh, Fifth payload, uh, the fifth payload, uh, fifth payload is this IP layer. Okay, so then you, then we can extract out the the layer, and then uh, the layer will have, um, uh, for example, destination IP address, which is the internal uh, IP destination IP address. So we can based on that to uh, use it as a filter to, to send our uh, ICMP echo reply. So for those, each layer, we extract the information and uh, we use the, uh, to, um, you know, say, uh, specify the UDP layer information for the, for the, for the response packet. And uh, so we, Actually, here I use a, a, a source port. I fix the source port here, so I can run TCP down and uh, and see how it uh, goes. Like here, source port uh, use the uh, five five. Uh, yeah. So this is a when we understand the layers, it is becomes easier to write the. Uh, 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 for each layer to put, put in your uh, information, basically we just uh, uh, reverse the, the uh, source and the destination IP address, reverse the layer two, uh, reverse the layer three, internal layer three. And here uh, in the VX layer, we can also specify our uh, VNI, uh, 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 value, right? So here we use two. Uh, we, we must use uh, two for the external VXLAN uh, tunnel uh, device integration because uh, uh, two is reserved uh, in the saving identity for work traffic. Okay, 
So after we, we, we uh, program the, the each layer packet, then we can send the uh, ISMP echo reply. And, uh, and this is where you see the result here. That's, that's our packet, the, the Python monitor script is sending the packet. Yeah. So let's look at our, um, okay. So our cluster has been up and we can look at, um, uh -huh. we got a one, uh, one control node here. Uh, and uh, we have a uh, build box already deployed on the control plane, right? So, and uh, we have our uh, scape script running. I put in a system B services. So it's running, okay? So in this script script, since we monitor on the bridge interface, and this is the bridge name, okay? So when you run the test, make sure you match the bridge name. And uh, so this is on the whole virtual machine. And then we have this bridge on the host side. This is the bridge. So this is the virtual network interface for the control node on the host side. Okay. So uh, our scape, scape script is running. Now we can uh, now we can run the peer request. Right? It's, we got an echo reply, ISMP echo reply, which is from the escape uh, monitor script. And uh, right, we only pin 10 times and uh, F that into the build box car to pin the uh, external backstand IP address. And so to check our feature uh, that is labeled in the scene. Uh, so you can see this is the IP cache map output. Uh, we have a uh, external VXTAN subnet here uh, record. And uh, so this is uh, the CIDR, the subnet. This is the identity we signed it to. Uh, this is a uh, uh, tunnel endpoint IP address, which we specify as the, with the um, uh, bridge interface. And uh, again, this for test purpose, uh, this MAC address doesn't matter. We can specify any, any MAC address. And, uh, because we are just testing this feature. For real uh, integration, you need to have a, a correct uh, uh, VTAP MAC address here and uh, the, uh, the VTAP uh, IP address. So again, uh, you can enable this feature as a uh, config map uh, option here, or you can use HAM, uh, or you can use a HAM. Uh, option, uh, or you can use him, or you can use him here if it's uh, if this feature is upstream in the official release. Uh, oh yeah, in the, you can use the him option here, <coughs> right? Okay, so we finished our test and uh, let's see. Okay. So if I, if I, um, if I st stop this uh, monitor script, then the, the pin will stop working. Okay, now let's pin again. Right, no ping request. But if we start the escape key script again, the ping should work again. Right, now let's ping again. 
right? It's working again. So this this should be easy to test, and uh, and you can, if you want to repeat the test uh, again under this um, uh, my repo bash script escape uh, here vxlan, and uh, you can repeat the test. Uh, one single virtual machine uh, with a ceiling. Okay, so thank you for watching.